so we're finally on our way to go get food. Yeah. And I'm excited because we're getting wings, pizza, but for some reason I just really want wings today, like really bad. And I'm really excited. Yeah. And then we go to my house and watch scary movies. Yeah, because we're in our horror movie mood right now. So yeah, feeling like watching a few paranormal things, you know, always fun. And we didn't go on our hike, but that's okay. We'll do that another time. Yeah, horror movie, pizza, wings, water, getting some comfortable clothes, and just relax on this just chill out. chilling day because this is the first kind of day where we haven't needed to be at school or be busy. And tomorrow we have a pool party, and then after that Yay. I get to come home and like Stay up all night because I have like three missing assignments in English and I have four days left of school. So I need to get those in so I can fucking graduate with an A in English. Yeah. And I need to study for my finals. Yeah, tomorrow will be a pretty chill day pool too. Party. Yeah, because Bobby's having another pool party. We yes, went to our we last know. one and it was really fun. So I'm, we're excited to go to this one. Um, I need a new bathing suit though because it's like you know, you don't buy a bathing suit during the winter, and then like you don't want to wear your old bathing suits you have, and so like you want new ones. Yeah, oh, should we get we the food shave. first? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Little oh. Caesars. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we have to it. shave. Oh, I didn't bring a razor. Should I run in real quick and grab? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'll be back with a razor. Okay guys, so Bridget's going to get her razor because this yeah. pool party tomorrow we need to be smooth like queens. Yeah, and I so, have not shaved. So she's probably all prickly like a cacti. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna watch some movies tonight. I don't know what we're gonna watch. We have like a shit ton of paranormal movies at my house. We're just gonna take our pick. God, you guys. Fifty Shades Darker is out on, on demand and I haven't seen it yet. I want to see that crap. Maybe I'll try and find it on like Netflix or Hulu. Or I think we have Amazon. So maybe I'll do that. We're going to go get some wings right now. From Little Caesars. Caesar wings. I have four days left of school, you guys. And then I'm graduated. And I am out of high school. And that's terrifying because then I'm just going to wind up back in a high school because I want to teach. So I'm literally going from high school to college to high school. And that's going to be terrifying. <laughs> Here she comes. Yay. Ooh. Yes. That run. I'm going to lock her in. I'm going to lock her out. Bye. Yep. Close that door, bitch. The razor. Every time I run, my pants. Oh off. no! You're on the floor of my vehicle. I said, oh no. Hey. Okay. Oh no. Logging and driving. Oh no. Seagulls. Seagulls. Mm. Stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, in four days, I can get rid of this. Like, ah! honestly, though, I know, like, they might check the paperwork, but, like, they probably won't. Oh, my God. Paperwork. Caleb has one of those, too, and literally, like, if I wanted to, I could, like, use his. But, like, I know they have it registered under, like, his license plate and stuff, but, like, are they really going to check? Probably not. So like as long as they see a student has one, like it could be fine. Unless they change the color of them, like maybe next year they'll be blue. And a couple black months. and red. Pirates get some head. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> wings, wings, wings. Wings like penises. Wings. <laughs> some people call their penis their wing. Wing. Is it waves? Wing waves. I don't know why they call it their wing, and that makes it really bad for like Oriental kids that have the last name Wang. Yeah. I had a really aggressive sex dream last night. <laughs> like legit, you know how usually like in your dreams, like 
you don't actually get the deed done. It's kind of like you either get the really like hyped up before and, and then before. it cuts to right after. That was not this dream. Like it happened. And I was like, wow. Okay, Andrea, you go. Hello, Mr. Man, who is staring at me while your parents drive you by in their minivan. You live your little 15 year old life, you thing. So do you want to talk ready. about this dream? It wasn't anyone like in particular though. It was kind of like, you know, like Dream Man. Okay. So where, like it wasn't anyone like <laughs> no. So what happened? It was just very aggressive, but in in a good way. It wasn't a bad, very aggressive. Yeah. You know. Vlog enjoy this. It it was just like I was like giving him a like a blowjob, right? And he did that thing where he like grabs your hair and he just starts like face fucking you. And I was like, ho, 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 and I got that shit back there, which I mean, I know I can anyway, but like dream me was going. And I was all, oh, girl, I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah. This cop is like still beside us and I'm like rather uncomfortable. Oh God. Oh, now they're behind us. It, it's always uncomfortable having a cop right behind you. Literally, you guys, I was like nervous. Like, where is he going? My stomach was. He just turned on his lights. I yeah, because like, like them behind me. yeah, I don't. Need just them. because like they can pull like cops like they can pull you over if like one of your brake lights is out just to tell you, but they're still gonna check your license and like even if they like I didn't do anything wrong, I just literally like had a brake light out and they pulled me over and Bridget was in the car. And, like, yeah, I'll get my license. Yeah, away. because it hasn't been a year. And so that's like a terrifying reality. Yeah. But um, he left, so now we're safe. <laughs> Another one's all whoop. Oh no. Oh, Bridget, come on. Oh shit. I just jump out the window and roll. Just well, like, I wasn't in here. I was. I was just floating. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Just floating. We're almost here at Little Caesars to get wings. They're right there. They're right there. Okay, so like when we get famous, right, and like people look at these vlogs from way back when, like when you go all the way back into Jen, like Jenna Marbles vlogs just because you like feel like watching them, you know, I wonder if people from like other states or other places and be like, wow, where they live is so pretty because it's really not. But you know, like I do that, like I'll watch videos and I'll like look like when they're driving like this, I'll like look what's around them and the surroundings. Yeah. And sometimes I'll think like, oh yeah, like it looks really pretty where they are. They're lucky that they can like live in that area or whatever. But to them, it's probably just regular. So I wonder if that's gonna happen like to us. And they're like, whoa, it's so pretty. Like, yeah, cause wow. like, and it's, it's like not that great. I mean, it could look kind of nice if you don't live here, cause all the trees and asphalt. But it's not that great actually. It's very hot. Yeah. It's very boring. Everything literally closes here at like so early. Nine. Yeah. Ten max. So if you're a night owl is like us and it's like midnight and you're like, let's go get some chow mein. There's nowhere to get chow mein at midnight. Let's go get some wings. We're getting barbecue. Wings. And yeah. he said, let's go I get, wish some I could wings. get some wing. But um barbecue and garlic parmesan. Oh I locked you in. And a pepperoni pizza. Okay. Woo! See you in there. Little scissors. Hey, look at this parking job. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're like sticking out. Wow. <laughs> I like doing that on point shoot. It's cool. Oh yeah. <gasps> that highlight. Hey. Oh shit. There's a, there's a little Caesars is like really busy. There's a large black man at the counter. There's a lot of people. I just want some wings. Thanks. Guys, we just got wings. Yeah, and, and pizza. And I felt really bad for the guy in there. Yeah. Because he's like brand new, you can tell. And uh, these people. Aw. 
that is the grossest thing I've ever done in my life. These people were like yelling at him to like comp their food because like she had to drive back and that was a waste of her gas. And I like I felt really bad. Those people, like, I would have been so stressed if I was him. They're like, ah, I'm not a red set. Okay, so earlier that cop was behind me, right? And now there's like a helicopter like flying around. My and gosh, like, not this again. <laughs> why, are, why are our lives so sketchy? Yeah. We'll go to your house, get in comfortable clothes. I have to clean my bunny's cage. Yeah. Um, have you guys met Steven? I have a bunny. He's a long haired black bunny and he's the cutest. His name is Steven Charles. I think I told you that. Yeah. Um, they know that you have a bunny and his name is Steven Charles. He's fantastic. He's super cute. What did you tell them about the people in there? Oh, I told them that all the guys were like new today. Oh, yeah. He got super intimidated when I went up to the register. It was kind of cute because I was like, hi. And I always try and like smile at them because I hate to be that girl who's like, hi. You know, and so I try to go up there and be like, hi. And he was like, hi, what can I get for you? Yeah, he got so timid. And I was like, it's okay, just be yourself, Tyrone. He tried like being funny a little bit or something. Like, I don't know. It was trying to laugh just, a little bit. Yeah, it was an interesting time. Yeah. We got out of there. We got our food. That's all that matters. Yeah. And, you know. Sucks it's, that they have to stay. I know, they there. feel bad for them because they're having a busy, rough day today. Yeah, for newbies. But, um, yeah, guys, I really just want to, like, be a band girlfriend. You know, and I almost had that lined up, but then he took the BDSM quiz, mm. and it didn't go well. And I'm, I'm sorry, and I know that sounds, like, hella selfish, but, like, I honestly, like, need that. A dominant guy. In my life. Like, I... It's a requirement. If they're only like, like he, seventy percent, we you know, need dominant people. So we were saying and not just in bed, like literally just in life. So, we I need mean, some dominant guys. That kind of sucks. It was. I don't do car washes. Oh god. <laughs> it was a car. No! <laughs> it was a mom and a little boy. She's gonna be like, Timmy, close your, your eyes. eyes. It's like Phantom of the Opera where she's like, keep your hand at the level of your eyes. <laughs> she's gonna be like, and that's why you never get together with a whore, Timmy. That's what they do. <laughs> They entrap you with their bodies and then they break your fragile little heart. <laughs> we lock the gate now because me and my sister are crazy bitches and there might be people who want to come to our house and hurt us. Italian girls, right? I'm Italian. And you'll probably be like that. Chase somebody down a driveway with a machete. Don't need to say that was not me. I was just ready to back her up. Okay. I was but ready she, too, but then T was, was the scared, one. so I stayed with T. I mean, I would do that. Compromise my relationship. And I would do that. Yeah. I would chase you down my driveway. Dang, like it. With a you tell somebody specifically to not go on your property, and, and they, they do it. Property. Bitch, you're getting chased with a machete. 